Now, Dr. Ashok Shraf will be At the showing outset, I would like to the thank lecture. Dr. Arban Slal and the All India Film Med Society for having me included as a faculty in his very interesting course. Sir, you are very expert. You have written so many books. But still, I would like to share my experience uh, for the direct chopping. See, I will show you two cases. One I have done with the alcohol infinity when I have used a very high vacuum, maybe 400, 400 plus. Of course, it, is, it may not display it, but you can see the Kelman T. You have to engage the nucleus firmly with the vacuum high power, whatever you want to set, 30, 40 percent, particularly with the ozil, uh, or maybe 80 percent. And once you have engaged the nucleus, I am using the sharp chopper, which has been designed by the Mohan Rajan. So it's a very, very, very good chopper. Uh, it's available in three different sizes, but I usually use one mm, one millimeter, the length of the chopper size. And you can see once the nucleus is engaged, at times it slips, no doubt, but then you can retry, see if it's engaged. And now, see, I'm afraid to go to the periphery while chopping, not as expert as Dr. Herban Slal. But here, I would like to keep it straight, go right deep up to the deeper layers. And once the nucleus fragments are made, then uh, the nucleus fragments are brought out of the capsular bag, and gradually, one by one, it is being emulsified. Here, it depends upon the size of the nucleus and the density of the nucleus. I think you can go for four pieces, five pieces, six pieces. It depends. And moreover, it's not necessary it will be straight vertical or horizontal cutting, chopping. It can be um, in a different haphazard manner, but still you can do it. Here you can see the same. I'll go to the next one. Here I have used the stellar species, the uh, Venturi system. Again, the very high vacuum, 450. And you can see that it has been grasped. Sometimes it doesn't. So because the vacuum is lost somewhere because of our food switch issues. And then once it is engaged, then you can chop it. Here, the chopping, as I told you, it cannot be, I mean, it may not be absolutely vertical or in this linear fashion. It may be a little irregular. So depending upon the size of the, the piece, you can further divide into two, three, whatever it is. But see, it's all went down up to the uh, deeper layers. And once it is done, uh, this is the center. And go up to deep. And I tell you, uh, even with this method, with this chopper, even I go and go up to grade 6, grade 7, direct chopping, without any issues. Only thing, the deeper layers, so you have to be very careful. They are properly separated. Otherwise, if you make even four, uh, four quadrants or five quadrants, but the, at the end, it is still attached posteriorly. So when you take it out, the whole nucleus is, uh, gets up down, upside down, and the, everything comes in the uh, interior chamber. So you can see that. And once it is done, then it is easy. Once it, the fragments are the, uh, uh, made properly, then you can bring it out, into the, out of the capsular bag, and you can emulsify. Here, during the last piece, as Dr. Harban Lal has mentioned, you can reduce the parameters, and you can uh, reduce the vacuum, reduce the power, like this, same. See, I wanted to make it vertical, but it went horizontal. Nothing, nothing wrong in it. And then you can rotate the nucleus, and accordingly you can do that. You can see here the incision. Uh, what, is it? what is the light? The side port was a little large, so the iris is trying to come out from that area. Anyway, thank you very much. And I have another topic of tackling the high Morganian cataract. Incidentally, I had whatever recordings I had previously, so that was all the hard disk got corrupt and I could not. But then I would like to mention certain points. In the high Morganian cataract, it is all fluid and very small 
hard nucleus at the bottom and brown type. So here it is better if you debulk first, debulk before you really make the axis. It debulk the and take the fluid out and then under visco you can really plan your axis. And then for the nucleus, it's so small, even you can go for SICS or you can go for direct chopping, polymersification. Thank you very much, Dr. Lal. Thank you.